is keeping a focus. There's something wrong with this. Traveling incredibly slowly. Give a perspective to see just how fast this thing is traveling. It is moving at a snail's pace, probably less than 50 miles an hour. This is absolutely spectacular. Now it's traveling back towards Pine Bush. It came up here. It's turning around. It turned around over Crystal Mall. There we go. Here it is again. Now it's having a flashing, three flashing, or two flashing reds, and a solid red on the far right. Oh baby, that's quite a treat. Saw it. Oh, it he's was, got a diagram. Yeah. Like okay. Two things on it. Yeah, there was there was a white light, a white light, a blue light, blue light, blue light on the top, and then there was a red on the back, and then a red underneath, red underneath, like that. And then when it came back, there was three red on top and two white on the bottom. Mm -hmm. And we thought by looking at it shifting that it might have been five or six different. Yeah, they were grouped like grouped, in groups like of five. Six different cramps. Huh? Yeah. How many? Um, but it never broke. It was like flying right. formation. So we figured if we finally were talking after these three guys left, we figured it had to be at least one craft. Right. It, well, that's the way it appeared here, and it was going much too slow. It yeah. was slow for you. Yes, yeah. but at a distance, if it was a big craft, it would look very slow. But right. It did look slow. Let me get out of the way here. Uh, one other thing about it. Um, What time did you notice it? You said you start first saw it about 9.20? minutes after 9, around there. Yeah, until 10 o'clock. Until about 10. It, yeah. Because we saw it I about... I think it was 10 o'clock when we went back in. Yeah, because it, it, it turned you know, it turned around at about 10 o'clock. Where was it in, this, in the horizon about 10? Uh, 10? Oh, it went right back where it came from. It came right back, right straight perpendicular from the road here, right straight away from us. It went, it was going away on an angle and it went real low. You could see it going through the, down the haze. It was fading on us. It went right down, you know, to the trees, but it was so far away. Then that must have been the time when we saw it after it had moved around here. Um, well, you must have, it came across here and went over to Knoll. That's when you probably saw Middletown. So it went from. It was over the Knoll. Yeah. It was over the mall. Right. And it turned around. It took about another 10, 15 minutes and slowly came back this way. Okay. All right. That makes sense. Right. So it's by this way you're talking about going east towards Walden, right? Yeah. And when it went, what's going? That's where it started from. It started from over and off by Walden. It, it, came, went, it went east, east, west, and then back east again. Okay. okay. And it was at all times south of us. Okay. But how about estimated distance? I don't. I couldn't tell because we could tell it was one or a group of five the way the lights were clustered. Couldn't hear anything, mm -hmm. you know. But it was it was very far away. You know, we could get a good look at it with the telescope the other kids have, plus the binoculars. We got a real good look. You could see the light patterns, and that's why I drew the pictures. You know. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. But it was it was definitely different. Yeah. I couldn't see any blue on it at all with the binoculars. But when they put their 60 power scope on it, it was and they were all asymmetrical. I mean, two lights, two lights, two lights, two lights on yeah. the unit. They weren't switching was, around or blinking around. It was like it was all built like one. Yeah, there were three. That's why we decided after they just left it, it was probably one craft. There was three blue lights and excuse me, two blue lights and a red light on the top, and adjacent to the two blue lights, were, which were in the front, there was two white lights. And on the bottom, there were three red lights. And then when it came back, you know, we, we lost the blue lights over here, about uh -huh. the silo, that direction. Then there was two red lights, excuse me, three red lights on the top, and two white lights on the bottom. Yes, we, we got it. That's exactly it. turned its, changed its lighting pattern when it uh, reached the Crystal Mall and okay. turned around. Mm -hmm. And as it was moving back, it had three red lights. At the two left ones were flashing, mm -hmm. but the right one on the right side was solid. Right. And then it had a couple white lights up in front, mm -hmm. underneath. I also, right after that, went over the horizon towards Middletown. Another one came by, just a, a bright light. I looked at it at a distance. It had three headlights. 
Then it changed to four headlights. Then it went back to one headlight and headed over the mall. Wow. Which was following it, I guess. And then it turned, then we saw it, and I lost the other one, and we saw that, that the large configuration come back. That is spectacular. Yeah, that's one of the few times I've seen three headlights, four headlights, one headlight. And, and, and one craft. Well, <laughs> I, the one thing that, uh, that um, the UFOs do not have is a flashing white strobe. I've never seen a flashing white strobe on any of them. Um, this one didn't have a... I saw more blue than Tommy saw, because I looked through the scope. And were the blues on the bottom? Top. Top. That's probably why I didn't see them, because I it was so red, close. I saw I saw two blues. I saw at least five groups of two blues. There was a lot of blue on it when I saw it. That's what it was over here. That's over Walden. Yeah, a lot of blues, which surprised me. I've never seen a craft with blue lights, and they were definitely blue lights. And not changing so many... Uh, no, they were asymmetri symmetrical. They were... Asymmetrical. One, one on top, asymmetric. One over top of the other, and another, you know, in like groups of them. Right. That's why at first we thought there was maybe four or five craft. They had a spotlight shooting straight up from over there now. Right. Yeah. That's part, part of the mall. Is that where the, the, uh, the craft went in that direction? Yeah. The yeah. spotlight? Okay. That was about 10 o'clock when it uh, went over there. Because we saw it move into the spot spotlight and turn right around. In that spotlight? Mm -hmm. Yep. I'll be there. Turned around in the spotlight. I'll be there. Here comes Whedon. <laughs> so do you want to give us your, your version of what you saw over at the Crystal Run Galleria? Sure. Crystal uh, Run, appropriate name, huh? Yes. <laughs> that, that was really, it was traveling very slowly. Uh, whatever it was, appeared to be a single object. Definitely. And it was... At a, at a, as it was coming towards us, the first time I spotted it, it was over uh, Montgomery, over Orange County Airport, and, it, and uh, I saw these two enormous bright lights, um, and then the lights dimmed, and, I, and it was traveling much slower than normal for a normal plane uh, to be that bright. Mm -hmm. So when I began realizing there was something, I ran in and got my fiance and, and um, her daughter and we ran out, and um, we went over to uh, get a closer look, and it was coming close to us, and there was this triangular array of lights. Uh, on the right side, there was maybe four or five lights, and on the left side, maybe two. There was uh, a red on either end of it. Now, there's one on the le far left and one on the far right. The one on the far left seemed to be blinking, and then there was a red light in the center, I don't. Uh, then then we, had, we thought we had this triangulated from two positions. We got three now. <laughs> and uh, as it, as it uh, continued uh, approaching us, uh, the number of lights started changing, and we saw a couple of smaller red, white lights around the central red light. And then the number of lights on the, on the right side changed a little bit, and it went to just a beautiful triangle of three white mm -hmm. lights and big white lights with a, with a red light in the center. Now, can I ask you something? Now, I don't know what Jim was telling you, uh, but we were looking through his telescope, and we picked it up as something like six individual craft flying in a very, very uh, precise formation, because uh, they did move around from time to time. It was, either, was possible for us to pick up something like six separate uh, individual crafts, but they were flying. They were extraordinarily uh, good pilots. Um, could you tell if it was a solid object or if it was... It, well, the thing about... Uh, the the lights, some of the lights did seem to change position relative to one another, but I've seen this. I have seen one craft uh, where this has been possible. This has happened. Well, you do know there's a you know, bunch of bozo pilots around here who think that they, they're they the ones that are causing the UFO scare. Or, right. So it's possible, and so we were thinking it's possible it's them. Uh, we're going to we'll find out, we'll check and follow it up if we can. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised. I don't know if it was or not. I wouldn't be surprised. I'd just be very disappointed. Uh, so do you think that's a possibility from what you saw? Oh, it certainly needs to be checked out. But what I saw was when it turned around, as, I, as you pointed out, it had to be an incredibly good pilots right. that were flying at, um, at stall speed, okay? Yeah. Do you hear any engine noise? No, no engine whatsoever. Now, would you, now, should you have been close enough to hear it if you were? Because we yes. didn't hear any, but we were We were half early. a mile at most away. Okay. Thank you. That, and that's the last piece of that puzzle. And uh, well, when it turned, last. it turned, it stopped and just turned in place. Okay. So that was another feature, and I got that on tape as it turned. And when it came back, we... Video, quick, come on, out, we got something. Right here.
a nighttime balloon. nighttime balloon. <laughs> I really like to 
to know what this is. I gotta look. Doing something else with the lights. Focus does. My arms are tired. my car still here. I haven't even been paying attention. at it. The lights 
of doing something again. in here, someplace above this house.